Welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing a comparison video here of the Mosa Aircross and the Zion Weeble S. So I ordered this one for myself for Christmas as my birthday and Christmas present. Thanks, honey. And they sent me this one here. So uh, I got a return label for it. But before I return it, I wanted to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison and give you my initial thoughts on, on these two. So I've had this one for about a week now, and I've shot a couple things with it. I did a shoot with it today, and it worked out pretty good. Um, I, I kind of enjoy it. So, But I got the, the Zion because of the nice little handle thing that it's got here that you can attach and do underslung type videos type shot. So that's the uh, that's kind of the history here. So I figured I'd do a uh, quick review on these and tell you what I like so far and and uh, we'll I'll go do some shots with them and and give you my overall opinion of these two. I'm not going to get into any real technical things. I'm not going to have a lot of time to get into all the nitty gritty of all the little settings and things like that, but um, I will give you an idea of which one I like better. So let's dig into it. Okay, first off, the the Mulsa Air Aircross. This it comes in this really nice hard case and it it's really nice so that's plus one for the for the moza aircross there so as you can see it's got the gimbal and everything in here all broken down that's really nice so in the zion weeble here should have opened this up in this one it doesn't have a hard case it's just a foam case and there's no hinge on it so you can't carry it around or no handle or anything like you can with this so the most air definitely comes in a better package um, but first glance looking at this Weevil S I really like this it's got it feels it feels I don't know more compact and more packable and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I do a lot of hiking and, and stuff like that. So I want something I can throw my backpack and it doesn't take up a bunch of bulk. So I think if I take this all out of the, the package, I can do that. With the Mosa Air, it seems like it's a little bit more gangly to me. I don't know. It just feels, feels a little not so compact. This one is definitely lighter, even though this is called the air cross I think this one definitely feels lighter nice hard plastic this one is all metal I think that's probably why so that's kind of my first initial thoughts and I think just the handle here is yeah you can hear that it's, it's plastic everything the important components are metal though but this has the um, the nice tri uh, tripod leg thing here you can screw in back here and this is why I got this one is you can screw this in here and you can do these kind of underslung shots so I'm really looking forward to that because I do a lot of those like I like the follow shots for hiking and things like that so I think that'll come in handy and the buttons on this just just feel a lot better let me pull this out this other one here I'm gonna just screw this together. I'm not gonna turn it on yet. So just to kind of show you. You can cut to this. So you can see on the air cross here, you've got just one button and then it's a like a D-pad type thing. And that's it. That's as far as the buttons go. There are some knobs and different things and connectors. That's as far as the buttons go on the Weeble. You've got like all types of function, power on off. I don't know what this switch does. The D-pad feels a little, feels a little smoother. It's almost like it's um, not as sensitive. Like this one was, I used it today and it was like all or nothing. Didn't have a lot of um, kind of ramping up, I guess, for movements. A nice dial here, some record buttons, things like that. So the Weeble definitely has a lot more buttons uh, and I would assume functionality because of those bu buttons so I may have a, a steeper learning curve we'll find out once I get into it um, but the air cross um, yeah just the two buttons power on and then you have buttons you can press it twice and 
once or three times, different things like that for, for the different settings. So that's kind of the uh, first initial look at those. The batteries are quite a bit different on this one. On the Weeble, it's two, uh, I don't know what type of batteries these are, two of these guys. And on the Aircross, it's three short little fatties is what we'll call them. Um, there's a charger for those batteries. One thing I noticed too on the Weeble is that, where's my cables at? A lot of these cables, and I think even the charging is USB-C, which is good because all my phones and most of my devices, my, my camera is all USB-C. So if I don't have to carry a USB uh, 2.0 or mini micro or mini uh, USB, then that's great. Everything on this one was all the micro USB. So kind of just one more cable for me to carry. Um, and I like to not have a bunch of cables. If I can have, you know, one, just one type of cable, that's great. That's kind of my first impressions on it. I'm gonna put this together, figure out the Weeble. You can go do some, uh, some, some video with it. I'll probably go chase my kids around on their scooters and give you an idea of what I think of these two. All right, so I've got the Weeble batteries charging up right now. I've got the Moza Aircross uh, batteries charging up too because I used them on a shoot today. Um, but there was a couple things. Um, I, I used this Moza Aircross and I downloaded the app and, and tinkered around with that. And the app is pretty cool, but I kept getting disconnected and it seemed like that was one of the problems with it um, as far as the reviews on the, on the Android Play Store or the Google Play Store was that it just kept get, getting disconnected. I could do a couple of things and it would disconnect. So I don't know if it's if I need to update the firmware on this or what. Um, but one of the helpful things on it is with the app, it tells you the battery percentage. So you can kind of keep an eye on what your battery percentage is. Um, so that's that's kind of handy. I think there was an app for the, the Weeble. Um, but I haven't downloaded that, I haven't had a chance to play with that. While those batteries charge, I'll keep playing around and figure out more on this Weeble S. We'll get back to you guys. These batteries are still charging up, but I wanted to do a couple little uh, updates while I was uh, putting this crane, or the Zion Weeble together here. So uh, first thing is the locks on this thing to help uh, to get you set up. The little locks on the side here, uh, if I can do it, there we go. That is so nice because you can lock it into place here when you're when you're traveling, and it is not going to wobble around. On this one, you always have this wobble if you try and pack it away or whatever. It's so that is awesome. I really like that. That's pretty cool. So uh, and then it helps too. Just whenever you're, I mean, you can do orbit shots like this. You know, just doing this, turn this lock on. And it's, what's cool is, is when you lock it, so I'm just locked it now, is it doesn't lock until it gets into that position. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. Um, the other thing is, is when you're setting up your camera on here, you can, still trying to figure out the positions here. So you can get this level, and then you can set your camera on here, get this one, and then you, once you get that, you lock it, you unlock this one here, and you figure out your uh, your balance on this axis. So these locks, that is very well thought out. That's huge. That that alone right there is 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 worth it to me. So that that's pretty awesome. The other thing you'll notice too is um, on these on these little tripod feet. I'm gonna bring this close. You see how these lock in there? It's like its own little thing, and this is all one piece here. That's nice. So this thing is not gonna teeter or bend or anything like that. Look at the air cross. This is the way it came. Is It's like this ring piece here. And if you look close, you can see the little this little ring right here is all dimpled where these legs come in. And so this thing doesn't even sit flat. And this came this way. So I think this might have been a used, I mean, look how tilted that is. This might have been a used unit because it just, it came that way. And I just noticed that when I set it down, I was like, that my that my camera was going to fall over. So that is kind of a kind of a downer for the for the aircross there. So that's just just one of those little things that just can drive you crazy. So 
The levers, I do like the screw type levers on these. They just seem like they're a little bit more bulky on an old gimbal that I had. I had these little lever ones and I ended up breaking the, because it's such a small screw, I ended up uh, stripping the screw because I just crank it down because I didn't want my camera to fall off. And uh, I ended up messing up one of the threads on it and it never, I never could use it again. So that's why I bought a new one here. But if you look, the threads on these things are just so tiny. I don't know if that's even a focus, but once you, once you strip that thread, it's toast. And I, I don't know if they even will resell that, that small piece there. So that's one thing I do like about the, the Moza Aircross Air is that it's got I haven't pulled these off, but I believe they are quite a bit heftier on the screw thread. Let me pull one of these off here, and it won't even come off. But looking at it, it is a it's a bigger thread, so that's kind of I don't know. There's pros and cons for each of these, for sure. But uh, yeah, that right there is a deal breaker for me. That lean on that here, I'll move it around. And you can see how much that leans, and then the locks on this. That's a huge, huge pro for the, for the Weeble. That's kind of what I figured out as I unbox this and kind of put my camera on it and, and stabilize it and everything. I'm still waiting for the battery to charge. So once I get that, I'm gonna go take this out and hopefully we'll have some light here. It's getting pretty low, but I'll go take that out and go chase my kids around on their scooters or something. So, and then I'll let you know my final thoughts on which one I like better, but so far, we're leaning towards the Weeble, which is good because that's the one I paid for and they sent me this much cheaper one and it was $100 less. We'll get back to you after I've had a chance to play around with this some more. So let's go into selfie mode here. Yeah, so uh, come over to the window here. Um, I like the controls on this. It's the orbiting is a little bit more fluid, almost more natural than the um, than the Moza Aircross. So I like this. The switches are pretty easy to use. I need to to learn them a little bit better. I'm just kind of playing around with it for now, but I kind of like this. So I'm going to go outside and see if I'm going to find my kids. But first, I'm going to put my coat on. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I just came from in from outside. That's why I'm wearing the beanie. It was cold out there. Uh, I convinced my son to go ride his scooter back and forth so I can chase him around. And I haven't looked at the footage yet, but um, I can tell you from using it, the Zion Weeble S feels so much better to run after the kids with the, with the undersling option, which is you unscrew this. Do it real quick here for you. 
if you haven't seen it, it's you do it like this and then you kind of you run along with this. And so that option right there, switching from here to there, right there is awesome. That was great for chasing my kids. Um, that's one of the big reasons I got this is because uh, I was actually just going to get a cage and everything, but I do like the, the stabilizer for doing other types of shoots besides just walking. So that alone right there is a huge selling point for me. Added up with all the other things, the locks, um, the overall feel of it. It feels a little bit lighter. Yeah, it feels lighter, but that could be because it, I think the handle and this battery casing is, or underside here is plastic. Whereas this uh, seems like it's all metal, all aluminum. So, um, but I do like it. I think uh, it also has the uh, higher load capacity. So I plan on getting a, a, an external monitor and probably a mic and a couple different things um, as I get into videography more. So um, I think this will be able to handle the weight. Whereas this just seems like uh, it might not be able to. It kind of struggled with my uh, Sony A7R III with my 16 to 35. Um, it really chewed through the battery when I did that. Um, I don't have any tests or anything, but it just, um, it was harder to balance too. It seemed like it was really pushing it to the limits as far as um, the, the getting it balanced. So in my unprofessional one day use of this so far, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna stick with the Weevil, which is kind of what I plan on. That's what I paid for, that's one I'm, I uh, saw several reviews on from different photographers and videographers, and that's the one they, they recommended. Huge shout out to Cody Blue. I actually ordered it through his, uh, from his recommendation on his uh, video. He goes into a lot more depth than I do, so give his video a watch if you want to watch another one. But um, for those of you that know me um, and trust my recommendation, this is the one that I would go with. Um, this isn't a bad one. I think it's about $100 less, around $300, $330, I think is what it was. And it's okay if you just can't save up another $70 or $100. It's, it's good. It'll do the trick. After using this and chasing my cat around the house and my son, um, I can tell I like this one a lot better. It just feels better. The, the movements seem more natural when you want to follow something. This just seemed like it wouldn't really catch on to the movement that you're doing. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll, I'll answer them for you. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.